Well, hey, we're down at Timeless Archery Fishing in Grand Rapids, Michigan. 616-453-8309. Check out our beautiful website at www.timelessrgr.com. Well, we're going to be talking about this uh, Amish built oak uh, dining mountain here that I'm in the middle of restoring. <clears throat> this is going to be a two tone effect here. Two tone finish. We're going to be going uh, a cherry finish on the seats, and the rest of the chair is going to be done in black. Uh, there's the base right there. It's a little dusty. Uh, it's going to be sanded and recoated. <clears throat> And as you can see, all these chairs, um, <coughs> come over here a little for <coughs> All six of these chairs have already been stripped, and uh, I bleached the seats uh, three times yesterday, which was Monday. When I got in here today on Tuesday, I bleached them two more times. So this is all the lighter it's going to get. <coughs> We're not going to be able to go any lighter. You can see what the chair looks like when it's been stripped down. Um, it's got to be sanded yet. We're not quite done. A little bit of finish here. We'll sand that right off. We'll sandpaper. You can see over here it's all stripped up nice and clean. <clears throat> all six of them. This one's been re-glued. And here's the table. <clears throat> and this is uh, what the table looks like after it's been stripped. And this is the finish color of the finish which the customer would like me to put on here you can already see that we're orange and we're already darker than the, this little pinkish cherry color that's why we're bleaching so um, <clears throat> my next step is to sand this tabletop and the leaves and I'm gonna bleach this about five times and that will take out about as much color as you possibly can and then I will try to achieve the color on this uh, little sample board here on the seats and then the tabletops and the leaves and then after I got my color um, to where I like it <clears throat> and I may have to go a touch darker than this because we're already you know we're dealing with wood we're dealing with something that's been stained I can only bleach out so much and this is an awfully light piece of wood um, but we'll stay as close to this as we possibly can once I get the color on everything <clears throat> and I'm happy with the color and it looks good and when I say everything, I just mean the six seats, the tabletop, and the two leaves. And I get probably four or five coats of finish over the top of that. I let it sell overnight. Then we'll tape off. Um, you know, we'll tape off the seat really good and uh, paint the chairs black. And same thing with the bait with the table over here. We'll tape off the top, and the, that's really good um, with some masking paper. And then we'll just. Uh, paint the base black and then once we get that done we'll peel all the tape off and lightly sand everything up and give it another four coats of clear and we'll be done so but I just want to have uh, people see when you're working in a refinishing shop um, and you get a piece of furniture that's already uh, this table is a lot darker than what we're seeing here this is what it looks like after it's stripped and then we're trying to match it to something like this um, you can just bleach on it for so long and then you got to kind of move on because, you, you know, that's just all you can really do. They look pretty nice right now, but, um, you know, oak has a lot more yellow and orange in it also, too. So, but we'll keep you posted. Thank you and have a good day.